Hi guys, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Dan Royce by Bailey's Travel Vlogs once again. This evening I'm now going to leave Jack in the Box. This is the road of Jack in the Box Delhi here. I'm going to take the girls along Ashford Long Road in St. Thomas and straight to Richmond Hall. So this is the road of Jack in the Box Gully in St. Thomas. And this is all along Ashford Long Road ahead of me. And that is the road that leads to Harrison's Cave and Richmond Hall Gully. Yes, guys. Looking back, the left turn leads back to Hotwell. The left turn leads back to Hotwell. Warrens, Bridgestone, Bridgefield, and Jackson. That's great. This is the road to Harrison's Cave. Oh, we're actually hard, buddy. Left turn leads back to Hotwell. And the right turn leads back to Jack in the Box Gully. And back to Hotwell. I mean, back to Pro. And Walk Spring. And again, this is the road of Jack in the Box Gully again. And this is the road of Hortwell. You can see Hortwell Tenantry from here. I'm now walking along Ashford Long Road. Ashford is spelt A Y S H F O R D. This is the road that you will use to get to Harrison Skill or Rich Mahogany. Looking back down to Ashford Long Road. And you can see all in the parish of St. George, which is the neighboring parish to St. Thomas. Tenantry here, where these houses are. What about Tenantry? In St. Thomas. And the main road I am on is Ashford Long Road. Ashford, spelled A Y S H F O R D.
Thomas is best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. St. Thomas is a beautiful Highland parish with hill formations resembling those of St. Anne and Portland Parish in Jamaica. St. Thomas has lots of hills in it as well. In the Scotland district. Which comprises of the parishes of St. Joseph. Or two hilliest parishes. Back down to Ashford Long Road, where you will see the left turn takes you back to Jack in the Box Gully, and the right turn takes you back to Hopewell. You can see the chimney for the old Appleworth Plantation, which was once Rest Indies Records Limited, and then it later changed to it later changed to Barbados Packaging Industries. Appleworth is on the border with the parish of St Thomas and St George. See the chimney for the old Applewicks plantation, and then it was Barbados West, West Indies Records Limited. They used to produce rec records for reggae music, calypso music, spooch music, which is local indigenous Barbadian music, and is now the Barbados Packaging Industries Limited. Applewicks is on the border with the parish of St. Thomas and St. George. You can see all across the St. George Valley. Where you can see the Saint, the Gross Agricultural Station, which is in the parish of St. George. You can see all across the Sweet Vale. And you can see all to the eastern end of the island in the parish of St. John and St. Joseph. That's because I'm walking up Ashford Long Road. Hall Hopewell Tenantry. Guys. Yes, guys. All Ashford Long Road. And this is Hortwell Tenantry here, which is the left turn. This is Hortwell Tenantry. And all along this is Ashford Long Road. These are some recent houses that were built along Ashford Long Road. Yes, guys. The only bus that goes to Hortwell Tenantry, the right, the right turn leads back to Hortwell Tenantry, and uh, straight ahead is Ashwell Longwood. The only bus that goes to Hortwell Tenantry is the Shorey Village bus.
Sturgis bus or the sometimes chalky mutt bus which runs sometimes chalky mutt bus that comes from the lower green Princess Alice bus terminal it runs through water it goes through water so that residents can get to their houses so that they wouldn't have to get off in Ashford where it's very lonely I walk through years ago Many years ago, before the bus used to go to Hotwell, Hotwell residents used to have to get off in Ashford and walk, and some of them used to get raped, killed, and so on, because it was very lonely. It still is lonely. But they're building some houses along Ashford now. All here is Ashford Long Road. This is the road that takes you to Harrison's Cave and West Mahogany. This is the road you have to use if you're coming from Bridgetown. You will use this road to get to Harrison's Cave. This is Eagle Point Cove in Ashford, the new Ashford development. And this is a house now being built along Ashford. And this road leads to Holy Innocence Church. And school as well. Oh, Ashford, Eagle Point Cove in Ashford. Okay, this is all Ashford, Long Road, and St. Thomas, Barbados. As I said before, St. Thomas is best referred to as the heart of Barbados or simply the central uplands of Barbados. And you will use this road if you are going to Harrison's Cave or West Mahogany. Harrison's Cave is currently closed but it is going to be reopened. It is scheduled to reopen on the 1st of July under new management. It is owned by a Jamaican group by the name of, it's been, it has been sold by a Jamaican group by the name of Chaka, Barbados Limited, Chaka Investments, they bought Harrison's Cave, so they now own it. Chaka, C-H-U-K-K-N, this is Sandbox Drive, Ashford, we will find some Lovely houses, some upscale houses. Lots of rich people live up in here. Sandbox Drive, Ashford. Let's go. Walking up Ashford and looking back down to Ashford Long Road. These are some big houses that were built here in recent years. St. Thomas is my parish. Where my family come from. My mother says the family. This is my area here. It looks like it's going to rain this evening. So it looks like it's going to rain. That's the bar there. That's 166 square miles. And it's the only country island in the West Indies that Christopher Columbus did not discover. He discovered all the rest. Barbados lays off the Eastern Caribbean chain with the neighboring islands St. Lucia Saint, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Millwall for the old Ashford plantation and this is Eagle Point Cove here where you can see the south, east and west of the island and the city as well. Eagle Point Cove where they are building some new houses. That is the Millwall for Ashford, the old Ashford plantation.
now approaching Holy Innocent Church and School. That's guys, Ashworth Plantation, the Millwall. St. Thomas is also a, a rural parish. Yes, guys, looking back down, you can see the eastern end of the island. The which is the parishes of St. Joseph and St. John. And you can see a bit of St. George as well when you see the center of the island. Yes, guys. Walking along Ashford. This is all Ashford Long Road in the parish of St. Thomas. Ashford is spelt A Y S H F O R D. And to the right is the old Ashford Great House. Okay, this is Ashford Grey House and it's private property as well. And this is Eagle Point Cove at Ashford as well. Welcome back to Ashford Long Road. This is quite a pull, I must admit. Quite a pull. This is the road that leads to Harrison Cave. All the rest of the hard belief. All in the parish of St. Thomas. Now approaching Holy Innocence Church and School. Behind Holy Innocent Church Cemetery, and this is Holy Innocent School ahead of me. Holy Innocent Primary. This is Holy Innocence Primary School. My aunts and cousins attended school. Holy Innocence Primary School also had lots of great teachers, such as Lester Vaughan, who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados. He was also the organist at Holy Innocence School. I mean, at Holy Innocence Church. And this school had Miss Springer, Miss Orsie Springer, and Mr. Raper Dash. All good teachers. I don't know them personally, but I heard stories of them from my mother and aunts that they were all great teachers who taught that school. This is the church cemetery here. And this is the mural here on the school building. And all Ashford, this is all Ashford Long Road. Holy Innocent Church, you my great grandparents, my great aunt. And my family are interred. And this is Holy Innocent Anglican Church, which was built in 1839. And it was one of the Coleridge chapels of East, Holy Innocent Anglican Church, situated along Ashford St. Thomas. And Harrison's cave runs all underground here. 
and this is the church cemetery on the opposite side yeah yeah it's for the innocence church wall and the vicar's club was once here which is also was also part of the church they used to keep dances and so on in there and but it has been pushed down long ago now you can only see the pavilion for cricket. That's crazy. This is Holy Innocence Church and School along Ashford, St. Thomas. This is all Ashford, Long Road, heading towards Harrison Cave and West Mahogany. So this is the road you use to get to Harrison Cave and West Mahogany. Now approaching St. Thomas Post Office, which is in Rexmore Hall. That is where Rexmore Hall begins, right by the post office. This is all Ashford, Long Road. This is the section of Ashford, known by many residents as Sally Corner. Ashford, St. Thomas, Barbados. Looking back down to Holy Innocence Church and School. This is the section of Ashford. Here's a sign saying where it's from Hogali, one kilometer. This is the section of Ashford, known to many residents as Sally Corner. I'm not sure how it got the name. Now approaching Harrison's Cave, now approaching St. Thomas Post Office. This is the Irish Garden Commons roundabout. The road straight ahead leads back to Stony Gully and Lion Castle. And back to Fortress Hill and the parish of St. James and St. Peter, which is to the north of the island. And the road to the left, right, sorry, leads back to Harrison's Cave and West Mahogany. That's good. This is the St. Thomas Post Office in West Mahogany. To the left, lead back to Highland. This is Highland, at least by the Highland St. Thomas, and this is all the Rexman Hall Player Park. Thank you guys for watching, and have a blessed evening.